Hey, what it is? What's up, guys? So, this is take number two um, of accountability series. We're going to be talking about wellness. And let me first account for what happened today. And then I'm going to get into depth. Today has been a good day. I've been doing good. I've been feeling great. At the end of the day, yeah, I'm just a little trained. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, it's been an amazing day. Probably one of the best days for wellness. So yes, let this be the base of most days. So what did I get up to? Woke up in the morning. You feel me? Yo, yesterday I slept late. Slept at like 10, half 10. And I was like, yo, this is not good. Like, can't be doing this life. I'm sleeping late. You know? Yes, 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 yes. You know what I'm saying? I was chatting to Phil. This and that, it's all good, it's all wholesome. But I'm like, hey, I really need to. I really need to sort out my timing for a good amount of stuff. Because there's a lot of good stuff that happens. But the timing, I notice, is like. I need to have the right timing. Because, hey. Hey, consistency and timing is key. You know what I'm saying? And having a sense of direction but anyways so with that being said i cool woke up felt a little drowsy i didn't i didn't set my alarm so i woke up at like 5 19 i cool did the usual devotion after devotion posted these videos after posting these videos i was in bed for a while i forgot what i even did then i got caught up in youtube for like a short bit the sun was up you know sun's rising these days a lot quicker surprisingly so so i felt like i was late i cool got out of bed dropped my nephew off dropped my sister off for work i cool show grand we're out here we in the car no about to start gym say my prayers now all right cool say my prayers it's cool get into the gym all right I do this nine, nine by nine, you know what I'm saying? Incline at nine, I'm running um, at the speed of nine. Nah, all right, cool. I reach five minutes, send that to Big H. Ha, 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 ha. Biggest bezel series, you feel me? Cool. I'm feeling good, feeling great, feeling a little tired, feeling a little worn out, but not too much, you feel me? Honestly, do you know what'll be epic? No, nah, honestly. Hitting nine, nine for nine minutes, Let's just say hitting the speed of nine at incline nine for nine minutes at the weight of 90 kilograms. <laughs> you see, that would be epic. You feel me? Because <laughs> I find it kind of entertaining that my sense of my cardiovascularity is becoming better, right? Even though I'm gaining more weight, got a little more fat on me, you know what I'm saying? Niggas a little more meaty. But, you know, it's like, this is actually good. This is great, you know? I'm bigger, I'm faster, I'm stronger. Okay, maybe not faster, but you know what I'm saying? One thing that I know for sure is that I'm bigger, I'm stronger, and definitely. The day I start running again, I will be faster. So, all right, cool now. I weigh in, I weigh, I'm weighing at 60, I mean, I'm weighing at 86. Yeah, 86. When I was done with the workout, I was weighing at 59.99. So, you know, right now, it's not that I weigh 84 to 85. I'm weighing 85 to 86. If you see what's happening here. This weight gain is kind of rapid. It's a bit scary. <laughs> He'd be thinking that, hey, 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 this is muscle, but... Nah, nigga, it's fat. <laughs> it's fat underneath this muscle, but whew, yeah, it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take a little while. So, I right, cool now. Back to the main point. I right, hit the squats now. I right, cool. Squat is great. I I thought I was gonna, you know what I'm saying? Stick to one hundred and twenty-five for five, or was it one twenty that I did last time? I think it was 120. Yeah, I thought I was going to stick to 120 for five. But nope, I decided to ramp all the way up to 140. Because at the end of the year, my goal is to get to 150. If I manage to get to 180, then I know that. Ha! Huh, if I man, Okay, let me just say, when I manage to get to 180 by the end of the year, right? Then I know that, ha! Huh, biggest bezel series. 
you know even if it's just one rep i know ha 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 yes we have begun then i can even take the first season next year just to try and get 184 reps you know five by five for 180 push it 200 kilograms ha i do that <laughs> <laughs> then I know that I, you know what I'm saying? My 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 base is pretty good for strength. I right, cool then now. Then cool did the squats, ramped up to like 140, did it for two. My formers, I don't even know how my formers like honestly like ever since the belt, I haven't been having backaches, so I'm happy either ways, you know. I couldn't squat as deep, but I knew that, ah, man, this is good. This is great. This is phenomenal. This is what we're here for. All right, then. The, ref, the, the rest of the lifts don't matter as much, honestly. Like, they do, but not as much as the squat and the deadlift. Those are, like, my two favorites. Two favorite barbell movements. I wish I loved the bench, you see. But the bench and I... Let's just say our relationship is getting there, slowly but surely, slowly but surely. Because right now I'm at 80 kilograms, no? Five by five, nope. The first three sets, yes, I did for five each, cool. And then somewhere along the line, the fourth one, I didn't. Cause something, I just kept on moving here. And then I was like, sheesh, like I really need to work on my form. I think the only thing that's betraying me right now with bench is form. And not having a spotter. <laughs> Maybe I could have pushed for 150 in terms of squatting if I had someone to spot me. But I guess I'm not at that point yet with people. And anyways, let's not even get into that. Yes, I'm at 80 kilograms. I really want to push it to 100 by the end of the year. I need to push it to 100 by the end of the year. We only have like two more months left after October. So, I believe we can do it. I right, cool. That's gym. Nah. Um, I felt really well. I was a bit indecisive of whether I should just, you know what I'm saying, wait at the library or just wait by the beach or just go straight home. But I decided to go straight home because I wasn't adequately prepared, which is something I feel like I really need to get into now and do which is prepare the day prior because <sighs> hey man i ain't even gonna lie you see waiting it out until quarter to one while hungry it ain't it you know what i'm saying yeah i've learned like josie was cool to know not eating but now it's like bro i eat dog i'm gaining weight i am gaining the strength you feel me so I'm not gonna compromise. I cool, got home, you know what I'm saying? Made myself some protein, mixed protein shake. Uh, checked out some videos on creating. I think I'm gonna try some creatine next month. Gonna see how that goes, you feel me? And yeah, today I actually understood the significance of a pump and how it feels. I was like, oh, this feels good. You know what I'm saying? I took some pictures and I was like, hey, Young nigga living. Young nigga living. Hey, like now I'm really building muscle. You feel me? Like I can feel the strength come along and it's coming. The newbie games are sweet. But the muscles, muscles are also coming along slowly but surely. I'm feeling the pump. There's a difference. I can see it in my arms. I can feel it in my chest, my traps. Phenomenal. So I right, cool. So with that being said, that's what's up. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? We progressed today in terms of wellness. Like we did. Um, so I'd like to talk about why I'm into wellness so much. Cause hey, my, my session lasted longer than it was supposed to. You feel me? That now they actually always last longer than they're supposed to. And I was like, yo, actually, Instead of always feeling like, yo, I need to wrap it up. I need to be quick. I was like, I do this for my sense of well-being, my sense of focus, my sense of fulfillment, regardless of whatever happens in life. I know that I right, cool. Back to basics. 
Let's focus on breathing. Let's focus on exercise. Let's focus on looking good, looking great. So with that being said, yeah, I really, it's become deep. It's become deeper than rap for me, you know? Not that I've changed my life and do fitness, but it's like, it's a fundamental for me in the sense where, let's get a little deep. I believe that evolution is based upon movement, you know? And so with that being said, movement is life. I need to hit my foundation for strength. Cool. Then I can focus on other things like flexibility and so on and so forth. Whatever other things interest me like locomotive or calisthenics or whatever. But yes, I believe it was from Edo Portal. So yeah, that's it for me, you know. I just feel like having my strength base really will put me at a great advantage. Because my stance changes, my movement changes, my posture changes, how I'm perceived changes, even my sense of perception changes through this practice. You know, through this fundamental practice, my sense of confidence is, is rooted amongst multiple pillars, not just being a creative person, not just being a risk taker, not just feeling like I have a sense of foresight, but actually feeling my body and honoring its its intelligence. You know what I'm saying? Supposedly, 90% of communication is nonverbal. So I'm just tapping into that. I'm just playing into that. You feel me? And the psychology and everything. So that's where it is for me. It's like, I right, cool. I've learned to actually honor it, not rush it, and become better at it give it the time that it needs i deal with that then everything else will fall into place i've shown commitment to myself i've honored where we've come <laughs> you know what i'm saying as a body and yeah and my ancestors and you know all the successive procreation and the dna that's been you know what i'm saying let's come to this point and me also doing my thing and having children and then it's like, yeah, yeah, this is, this is it. You know, maximum genetic potential, we're reaching, we're good, we're clean. So that's it. I just wanted to touch on that on today's talk in terms of why it's so deep and I'm aiming to really take wellness seriously as a practice and yeah, just improve, not just gym, but as a whole. Like today I drank, I believe three liters of water. So that's my aim of the game right now, just to drink as much water as I need that's equivalent to my body weight and keep it moving with the wellness chat. So with that being said, thank you for pulling up. Now you know why I'm ser serious. You know what I'm saying? To sum it up, I just need a great strength base. You feel me? You can check out strength standards. Well, you can check out Jason Blaha's one. Well, let me just give you a quick chat now. 300 kgs for deadlift now. 180 kgs for squat, 90 for standing press, 130 for bench. Um, and then for chin-ups, I believe, yeah, I forgot how much actually, but it's, it's your body weight plus 90. I'm not even sure. But anyway, so the, yeah, big five strength standards for me, that's like, okay, cool. Let me achieve that physical goal and then I'll see what happens afterwards, especially moving towards flexibility and such. But with that being said, today's been a good day. Let's keep it that way.